What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Garrett Hahn and in today's video, we are going to be doing a review on the new Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. Now, originally I was not planning on doing this video, but I got so many tweets and so many DMs from you guys on Instagram asking what my thoughts were on these lipsticks and if I was going to do a review on my YouTube channel. So I actually just got these in the mail not too long ago. I purchased these on the launch date for Jaclyn Cosmetics and the only thing that I have done with them is swatch them. I haven't really like inspected them. So I know a lot of people on social media have been saying that the lipstick was delivered either damaged, um, the packaging was dented, there is stuff inside of the lipstick, there's hair, there's fuzz, there's this, there's that. So I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the lipsticks today, at least the three that I got. So you guys are going to be getting the full tea from yours truly. If this is your first time seeing my face on your screen, hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for spending some time out of your day to hang out with me, talk about makeup, get the whole rundown on these new lipsticks. And if you guys want to join the madness that is on my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below to become a member of this little growing fam that we have over here in this corner of YouTube. I would love to have you guys. I just wanna keep this intro short, sweet, to the point because we are going to dive like way into the details later on in this video. I'm gonna let you guys know if this is worth your coin or not because at the end of the day, that's why you guys are here and that's why I'm here. So with all that being said, let's just get into today's video. Roll the clip, roll the gigs, and let's get sick. So I just pulled up jackandcosmetics.com. That way we can see what the whole rundown is on the website because as you guys know, Jack and Cosmetics is a new brand. It is not sold in any retail stores, so it's not in Ulta, Sephora, or I don't even believe it's on any other website besides Jack and Cosmetics. I could be wrong. That being said, you can't go into store. You can't touch it. You can't feel it. You can't swatch it. You can't play with it. Really, all you get is the face value on her website. And to my knowledge, I didn't see any PR kits being um, pushed through the week of her launch. The only video that I personally saw before the actual launch date was Jacqueline's. So the only person that you got to see talking about this product was her, the owner of this brand. That obviously is a little bit biased because of course it is her brand. She obviously loves her formula, of course, because if she didn't love it, she wouldn't be releasing it. She only has one product right now. She has a lipstick that has 20 shades, which is amazing, all in which are nude. The description on the website says, cream meets shine with this rich, pout-perfecting lipstick that's filled with buttery goodness. Each swipe of this Lux formula will leave your lips feeling like a million bucks. Well, girl, if my lips don't feel like a million bucks, right next to the description, you get the ingredients. And the ingredients are also listed on the side of the unicartons. Other than that, you just get like the lipstick here. You get all of the shades listed down below. I believe right now every shade is sold out, so that's great. Um, and then you get like about Jacqueline and then this, that, and the other on the other part of the website. This is the first thing that you're going to see when you pull these out of your box when you buy them. So this unicorn obviously has four sides to it. Um, I think that this is really cute, actually. I think it's really sleek, very modern looking, and I love how there is texture to it. I know a lot of unicartons, I don't have any with me right now, but most of them are just flat. There's no texture to it. The front part of it obviously says Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is embossed. Real quick, I thought that this was Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, but then I got this in the mail and it said Jaclyn Cosmetics, and I got kind of confused because I don't know if it was like a rebranding thing or what the deal is with that because this says Jaclyn Cosmetics and then on the front of this it says JH. I know obviously those are her initials, but I was under the assumption that the brand was gonna be called Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and if I'm not mistaken, I feel like that's how it was first announced to everybody. I know her brand was like a thought and an idea like a very long time ago and it's just now coming out like we're talking like maybe four or five years ago. Don't quote me on the time, but I am almost wondering if these components were made at an earlier date and then fast forward to today, obviously she's branding it as Jacqueline Cosmetics. Anyways, that is completely beyond the point because we were talking about this, but that is just something that I noticed between the two. On the front, you get Jacqueline Cosmetics, so you kind of get like the whole gig right here. And then as you flip it over, you have the ingredient side. You kind of have more about the distributor, the address, all that stuff, barcode. And on the other side, you get 
the description that I read off of the website. So that is also on the Unicarton as well. And then on the very top, you get the shade names. Of course, the Unicarton matters, but at the end of the day, this is what's going in the trash. And this is what you are going to have to see every day should you choose to use this every day. I ended up getting three shades. I have Amazeballs, That Girl, and As If. I was supposed to get obsessed, but it was really weird how the checkout process happens. When I went to check out, I had all four shades in my cart. I had Amazeballs, That Girl, As If, and Obsessed. I was really excited to get Obsessed because that was probably my favorite shade out of all 20. So that was locked and loaded in my cart. I went to go check out and then it put me in a waiting queue, which is nothing new to me because that has happened to me before when I do shop with other retailers, especially on big launch dates. I know that traffic on websites can get crazy and having a queue is necessary to kind of keep things in line and keep things orderly. The only thing that was really weird to me is I had all four in my cart and typically like when you are shopping online, whether it's like clothes, makeup, shoes, hats, I don't know. Normally when you have it in your cart, it's yours. So when you go to checkout, you know it's there, you know it's going to be yours and you can make that purchase. I guess for Jack and Cosmetics, that's not the case. But when it was like my turn to check out, um, I got notified that one of the items in my cart was sold out and no longer available for purchase. I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get all four shades, especially since Obsessed was probably my favorite out of the lineup. So I felt like three was a good place to start, especially with a new brand because you don't know the formula. Again, you haven't been able to swatch it, feel it, play with it any of that stuff. So I am happy I got three. They have bundles on their website, I believe, where you can buy three at a slightly discounted price. And then you can obviously buy the whole entire bundle, which is around like $300, I wanna say, with shipping, tax, and all that stuff included. So next, moving on to the actual component itself. I am not the Mm, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't know if you guys have ever been put in this situation before, but have you ever met somebody in person that you have seen on Instagram and they look nothing like their pictures? I feel like it's this. When I saw this online for the first time, I thought it was absolutely sickening. Now, the reason why I am saying this is because there have been launches in the past with glitter wrapping. Anastasia Beverly Hills, they just had an entire collection released um, with glitter wrappings. They had these loose highlighters, and then they also had this dewy set setting spray. I know Jeffree Star Cosmetics has also done that with like the velour liquid scrub, and I think he had an entire collection with the glitter wrap as well. The only reason why I'm bringing this up is because I feel like this wrapping almost comes across as dirty when you see it in person and the glitter is not very cohesive. What I almost feel like would have been more timeless than just like the all glitter and the chunky rhinestone on top would have just been to have like an entirely chrome tube and then maybe like behind the JH where there's the white background having like a glitter kind of moment there. If she wanted to incorporate some kind of like glitter element in this packaging, I feel like that would have looked so much better and then changing like the JH text to like white or something like that. I feel like that would have aged a little better in my opinion than um, this. I will say that this component is heavy. It feels nice. It feels like you did spend like $18 on this. I'm not sure what the product inside says about um, the price point, but from what I can say, I feel like the actual weight of this is very nice. And then last but not least on the top, we have this like kind of like jewel right here. I, I don't know. I mean, do you guys remember like buckle jeans from like years and years and years ago? where like everybody was walking around with like those huge jewels on their ass. It almost reminds me of like one of the jewels was like picked off of that and like put on top. I feel like maybe I would have liked the jewel a little bit better if it wasn't just straight up clear and maybe it had some like different um, color reflex to it like typical jewels I guess have. I'm not trying to like come off as like a hater because totally not my vibe. I just have like different tastes and different like things that I like than other people. Some people might love this and some people might not. Everybody has their own taste and that's fine. What matters at the end of the day is the product inside. I'm gonna do swatches of all three of these and then I'm also going to put all three on my lips as well. That way you guys can see uh, what they look like on me. The only kind of issue I had with the actual product itself being damaged was on the back of that girl, there's kind of like a dent in the back. I'm not sure what's up with that. But honestly, like to me, it doesn't really matter that much. It's just like a tiny little dent. It's not like you opened it up and like the whole thing was like severed in half or like it was melted or anything like that. So I don't really mind that. Um, the only thing though that I did, what is that? Oh, it's on this one too. 
I don't really know what's going on, but there, it, the lipstick seems very gritty and there's almost like these black dots inside. Yeah, and it's on every single one. So I don't know if you guys can like see like the black dots that I'm talking about, but like right off the bat, like that is not very appealing to look at especially if this is like going on your lips by your mouth. And I do see a little bit of fuzz that people were talking about on Twitter. It's nothing like crazy. Like I know some people's had like hair just like stuck to the tip. Um, I don't have anything like that per se, but I do have like little hairy things on them, which also is kind of weird. Anyways, let's swatch them. First one that I'm going to swatch is As If, and this one is described to be more of like a fawn nude. So as you can see right there, the actual swatch of it is pretty good. Um, it does have to be built up a little bit, but with cream lipsticks, that's nothing like really, I mean, we all know with cream lipsticks, you have to like build them up. Oh, wow. Okay. What are these black dots? Ugh. The next shade we're going to try is Amazeballs, and this is more of kind of like a peachier color. I really like kind of like peachy pink lipsticks, so this one I was really excited about. That one is right here, and that one's really pretty. The last one that I have is that girl, and this one is going to be more of like a peachy color. So this one is going to go right here next to Amaze Balls, and yeah, that one is really gorgeous. Oh, she's pretty, she's stunning. These are what all three of these swatches look like right next to each other. I know with lipstick specifically, a lot of people are very sensitive to smell. Now, Jacqueline in her video said that she created a custom scent with these lipsticks. No, ma'am. These lipsticks smell, dare I say, expired. They smell not good. No. It was so important that my packaging matched the formula on the inside and they complement each other. So we have this hexagon shape. I created this component almost six years ago. I Did she fill them six years ago too? Mm -mm. What are they? Okay, what does she say they're supposed to smell? And it looks a lot of brands just slap a scent of fragrance that's just there at the lab. They throw it in. They're like, yep, let's do vanilla. Yep, let's do coconut, whatever it is. We did a custom blend of several different fragrances. I wanted it to appeal to everyone. It does smell sweet, but it's not too sweet. It honestly just smells like buttery, vanilla, kind of just yummy. Based on the smell, unless... Custom blend is like a very unique blend that doesn't sit well with me. Um, these smell expired. I am very anal about throwing my makeup out at least every year because makeup can expire, makeup can grow funky stuff. And especially with lip products, I do not wanna be putting expired products on my lips because that can be very dangerous, especially if it is growing something. Now, I'm gonna give this the benefit of the doubt and say that it is not expired, but it just, it just smells so not appealing to me. And the black dots inside are really, really freaking me out. But anyways, um, no, no. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and then we are going to start trying on these lipsticks, you guys. First lipstick that I am going to try on is Amazeballs. And I think out of the three, this is probably my favorite color. Mm -hmm. It's really gritty. It is not so rich, not so buttery, not so creamy. Um, I'm almost wondering if that's what the black dots are, but it is not really blended. Oh no, that's really gritty. We're just gonna keep, keep chucking. This, co this color is gorgeous. This color is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what's going on with the formula for Amazeballs, but it is not. Ooh, you can feel it on your lips too. So I'm very torn because you guys, the finish of this lipstick is so beautiful. It is so pretty. Um, this color is absolutely stunning. I feel like this would be like a new go-to nude for me if um, the formula was in check. Putting it on, it is not creamy at all. There is very, 
very like finely, I don't know what it is, but it's like fine bits of something in the lipstick. It almost feels like a more toned down version of like an exfoliating lipstick. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I know e.l.f. sells one. I am going to wipe off Balls, and then I'm going to try on that girl and let's continue. The show must go on. I am taking this off with a paper towel, which tells me that these are not going to last very long throughout the day. If you want to use this lipstick during the day, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you take it with you wherever you go because I don't know how long this will last, but I can tell you right now, um, if I'm just taking off with paper towel, it's not going to last that long. Now going in with the shade That Girl, I am going to go ahead and apply this on my lips. This shade, you guys, stunning. The finish is so pretty though. This is the shade That Girl on the lips, you guys. I am feeling like that bitch in this shade. This color is so stunning. Something that I'm noticing about the formula of That Girl, I know this is like pretty much all the same formula, but That Girl, for whatever reason, when I swatch it, it almost looks like it's like melting. The other ones look more like sturdy. They look more kind of like solid. I don't know. I know it's a cream lipstick, so I don't want to like think too much into it because at the end of the day, these are, these are just lipsticks. It's not that deep. Similar to Balls, I am noticing a texture inside of the actual bullet itself. So when you're applying it, you can definitely feel it. Um, that is not something that I'm used to when I am applying some cream products. So I don't really know what that means because I'm not a chemist. I don't go to the lab. I don't make makeup. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if maybe these are expired lipsticks. I don't know if the formula wasn't mixed up the way it should. I'm going to wipe this off and apply as if. This is the last shade that I have. So we are going to see how this one performs. This one, as you can see, um, stained my lips quite a bit. I don't really care about that, but if you guys don't like staining on your lips, um, that girl did that. And last but not least, I am going to try the shade as if and see what that looks like. <gasps> uh -uh. Before I even finish applying this to my lips, these are the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. This is a MAC. I went and pulled this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I have never had this issue with any other brand before. This is matte, let me go grab a cream. Creme Sheen Lipstick from MAC. It's a bullet. Same idea as the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics one. This is a cream lipstick. When you twist it up all the way, you don't see any texture to it. You don't see any bumps. You don't see any air holes. And then I am going to swatch this one on the back of my hand. That way you guys can see when it kind of gets used down, there is still no grit to it. So as you can see with the two side by side, keep in mind, I probably used this lipstick the same amount of times that I just used this one and this one was completely new, unused. I don't know what that means, but I am going to just go ahead and fill in the rest of my lips and um, that way you guys can just see what the shade looks like on me. This one does not want to stay on. As I keep using it, it just gets more and more unpleasant on the lips. I'm a huge texture person, so anything that is not how I'm expecting it to be really freaks me out. Having a cream lipstick be very, very chunky and very textured kind of doesn't sit well with me. It's having a very, very hard time actually just staying on the lips. Again, I know that this is a cream product, but when my lips are either being pressed together or I'm taking a drink of something, it shifts around, it moves, or it comes off. it comes off. It's not there anymore. She's clocked out. She's done working for the day. She can't be bothered. You guys, these lipsticks are staining my mouth like really, really bad. Okay, so I feel like I'm getting like way too into this, but I am genuinely curious like what is inside of this lipstick. So I am going to cut it open. I'm here with Jake. He is going to do the honors of cutting it open. I have like this little palette knife right here. So we're gonna do that, smush it down. And then I saw in Christy's video, she lit it on fire. I'm gonna do the same because I wanna see if I can like find anything else. Um, so here we go, cutting lipstick, just a day in the life, you know. So you guys, this is the shade That Girl and this was the one that I was talking about how it was like kind of chunky. And then it also was 
kind of like melting when I was applying it like to my skin. Hold on, it's not focusing. So that's like the first layer. So it doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like it's on the inside. It looks more so like on the outside. Like surface. Yeah. Like when we were squishing this down with our fingers, like when I tell you guys it felt like I was just kind of like smearing like a paste with kind of like sand in it. I'm hoping you guys can see this, but this is the grit that I was talking about. So when you put it on your lips, obviously that skin is a little bit more sensitive than the other areas of your face. So you're definitely gonna feel like more texture if there is texture like in a lipstick per se. So when we were smushing this down with our fingers, like you guys can see all the little granules in there. And then that really long streak was caused by like that little ball right there so you guys can see it's a pretty thick streak anyway so we're gonna light this bitch on fire and see what happens because science you can see the bead right there oh yeah oh god you can see it without like a camera or anything so you guys can see like right there that giant ball that i was talking about that's just really gross that's something that I don't want in my lipstick, I'll say that much. So I switched over to my iPhone because I feel like you can see it more, but like, you're kind of like, go back and forth with it. You guys can see like, all of the grit once you like, smooth it out. Light it up! So yeah, you can actually start to see like, a lot of the grit. Oh. I don't know what that is. I don't know what causes that. I am not a chemist. I am not a scientist. But what I do know is that on my lips. No. Is it a lipstick or a lip scrub? <laughs> Can I the science guy? Care I the science guy? Care, 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 care. Yeah. So just to finish this outro, I went ahead and I applied that girl to my lips again, and lo and behold, I found some more friends inside the bullet. And I just want this video to be done because I feel like I'm just like not enjoying my experience with these. This is not the experience I was wanting to have. And quite honestly, this isn't the experience that I was paying to have. I am completely disappointed with my experience with these products today. I don't feel like it is up to par with other lipsticks on the market. I feel like there are a a lot more that I would recommend over these, at least right now. If you're gonna brand a lipstick as so creamy, so buttery, so rich, so pigmented, so this, so that, like I expect to pay my money on a product that will give me that. And I also wanted my lips to feel like a million dollars, but that didn't happen. I want to only recommend products to you guys that I truly enjoy, that I truly love, and something that I would feel comfortable recommending to my peers, my followers, my family, my friends, just anybody in general. Let's say that somebody recommended a makeup product to me based on their experience with it. They had a wonderful time and they really wanted me to go out and try it. Um, let's say that was a friend, or if I watch a YouTuber and they really like a product, I go out and buy it. Um, I expect to have a similar, if not the same experience that they had with it. Don't get me wrong, I know that makeup doesn't work for everybody. I know that one foundation might work amazing for me, but it might not work for somebody else. I know concealers are that way too. There are so many makeup products that are so specific towards the person applying them, but the issue with this is that it is based solely on formulation. It's not because I have dry skin and it was meant for oily skin. It is, there is something in the product. I obviously wish nothing but the best for her. I know I was harping on quite a lot today, but that again is just my personal preference. It's my opinion. And you know, you guys obviously need to formulate your own opinion and you can't do that until you try the product. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for spending some time out of your day today to hang out with me, talk about makeup and see what the tea is on the new Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. If you guys want to subscribe for more videos and just be a part of this growing fam that's here on YouTube, feel free to click that subscribe button down below. And if you guys wanna follow me around on my other social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My username is at OMG It's Gare. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will be seeing all of you in my next video. Bye guys.